How do you make a laser engraving on rings made of different materials? What equipment is suitable and what should be the parameters? How do you prepare the layout? This video will answer all these questions and more. My name is David, this is Wirmer. We are in the laser and milling equipment business and on this channel we share useful information with you. Check out the subscription and we are off to a great start. What could rings be made of? Typically, you will find rings made from tungsten, silver, gold, stainless steel, platinum, titanium, ceramics and alloys. What is important for us, as we work with laser equipment, is the absorption capacity of the workpiece. The list of materials that can be marked is determined by the wavelength of the laser, rather than its power. But more on that later. Finding rings will be easy. Stainless steel plane rings are available on any internet platform. You can find a manufacturer to make them for you. But take a closer look at the material. The ring might be covered with a thin layer of silver or tungsten, but not entirely made of it. In this case, the engraving process can ruin the piece. So don't buy a lot and do some tests. Laser equipment. There are several types of laser emitters, CO2, fiber and ultraviolet. Each can be used in engraving rings, just different ones. It's all about the wavelength. Materials have different receptivity to it, hence the lists of materials that a particular machine can work with. With CO2, for example, you can engrave wooden or acrylic rings, Cassian jewelry in short. On fiber you can engrave metal, on ultraviolet you can engrave silver and gold, which are very difficult to process with other types of markers. But it's not just the vintage or the type of the marker that matters. You have to consider also the power and the lenses. Let's take a silver engraving. A 30 watt power FLTT with a 200x200 lenses can be chosen, but it's better to use the 100x100 lenses. We have also made a separate video exploring lenses specifically for the model FLTT. Today we will work with this marker and all parameters will refer to a 30 watt fiber optic with a lens of 100 by 100. But if you want a similar tutorial for another type of marker, CO2 or a UV for example, just let us know in the comments. Rotary device. The rotary device helps you to work with glasses, rings and anything spherical or cylindrical. There are different types of rotaries, but that's a topic for another video. For now, we will use this one. First, install it on a laser marking working area. Then connect the rotary axis cable to the rotary connector on the back of the laser marker. It should be positioned parallel to the working area if you are engraving the outside of the ring. If you need to engrave the inside of the ring, simply lift the unit. One of the advantages of Watson laser markers is that they have a built-in power supply and driver for the rotary device. Preparation we start with measuring the ring, arm yourself with a caliper and let's get started. First, measure the outside diameter. Second, now measure the height of the ring. Layout. Now import the ring layout and choose where you want to place it. As you create the layout, place your prepared images and scale them down using the height of the ring as a guide. If you are making the no join pattern, you'll need to know the length of the ring. Here we will use the diameter outside or inside depending on where your engraving will go, on the outside or inside of the piece. Multiply then by 3.14. Then change the size of your image. Diameters should also be entered during the pre-engraving setting process in the laser rotary mark menu. Our first attempt will be on this ring made on black metal. We will set the power to 90% and the frequency to 20 kHz. The speed depends on the desired result. The faster, the lighter. Let's try it. By the way, this material is quite interesting. The same engraving can look different depending on the color of the ring. For example, the engraving on the black ring will be light gold or gray. So this is our ring. 
you can see the parameters on the screen. The Watson FLTT marker is a desktop fiber laser marking and engraving machine. It can create barcodes, QR codes, intricate images and, as you can see, engravings. You can find out more about this marker on our website and you will find the link in the description. Now, a few advices from us for the titbit. You may add 20 steps per turn as a precaution. You can mirror the split size with the line spacing value to make the result smoother. The settings for silver are the same as for tungsten. Power 90%, frequency 20 kHz. Faster, brighter, slower, darker. Engraving on the black ceramic will be very dull, dark grey, but it's a great choice for those who want to make a secret message. If you have more questions, write in the comments, we will be happy to answer. Subscribe to the channel, give us a like. My name is David, this is Wilmer, see you in the next video.